Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing very well. In today's video I'm going to be discussing the legend, the queen, that is Dolly Parton. <laughs> I'm sure most of you are aware of who Dolly Parton is. If you don't, if you're not aware, okay, well, what are you doing with your life? But if you're not aware, um, Dolly Parton has been around for many years. She is a, a country singer, a businesswoman. She has her own like theme park in America. I think it's called Dolly, is it called Dollywood? She's a busy lady. She is so famous, especially more in America than in the UK and maybe other parts of the world. But I know like she's an icon. <laughs> in America. We stand. She's a great lady. Am I really doing a deep dive on Dolly Parton right now? <laughs> okay, so yeah, her name is Dolly Rebecca Parton. She was born on January the 19th. Oh my god, that's the same day as my best friend. Um, in 1946. So that makes her 75. She looks gorgeous for 75. She's an American singer, songwriter, multi-instrumental actress, author, businesswoman, uh, and human, human, <laughs> humanitarian. <laughs> Known primarily for her work in country music, after achieving success as a songwriter for others, Parton made her album debut in 1967. So she has been famous or known as a musician since 1967. That is a lot of years under her belt, but you know, she doesn't look a day over 30. <laughs> We've got to respect the pardon in this house, okay? Um, but I know she does a lot of like charity work and like it was said, she's a humana humanitarian, I cannot say that word. Um, but yeah, she has been married since 1966. So she's been married or longer than she's been in the music business. That's crazy. Parton has also worked to raise money for several other causes, including American Red Cross, HIV and AIDS related charity. In 2006, she pledged $500,000 towards, toward a proposed 90 million hospital and cancer center to be constructed in Seville. She also does a lot of stuff by, for animals as well, by the looks of things. Like she's just a whole round Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Um, she did help with a uh, COVID. Um, t she did help with COVID. She put in a donation for a vaccine, which is in crazy. Like I know she puts a lot of, by the looks of things, she puts a lot of her own money into charity. Like she's done more than like the rich billionaires, like Jeff Bezos and stuff like that. Like she's a queen. We stand. But you're probably wondering. Lauren, why are you making a video about Zolly Parton? Like, what the hell? This isn't your content. Are you good? Are you all right? Well, for many, many years, there has been speculation that Dolly Parton has tattoos. I know. As if she couldn't get any cooler, right? There's been, like, photos, like, flying around of her with, like, what looks like tattoos, like, underneath her clothes and stuff, and she has never confirmed or denied whether she has tattoos or not. So there's this image here that is very popular of, and people have been like, what's that on your chest there, Dolly? Are you, are you okay? Um, she's got like a heart that, look, well, it looks like a heart, just like in her like sternum area, just in between her boobs. So it feels a bit wrong to be staring at Dolly Parton's chest right now. And it's, yeah, there's been this image floating about and people are like, what is that? Like, is it just like maybe a birthmark or is it like, some kind of scarring or something. Again, she's never really mentioned or talked about it. There's also this image as well, where she's wearing like a, not really a see-through shirt, but it's like, it's white, so it can be kind of see-through. But if you look hard enough, you can just about see the outlines of a tattoo. Like it's got like a marking here. So if you were looking at any old other person, you'd be like, oh yeah, they just have a tattoo there. But like, again, this is Dolly Parton. It's just like, oh okay but it does look like she has like quite a big tattoo going on there again you could say well, maybe it's a part of the shirt but like but even when you look at this like zoomed out picture here it literally looks like she does have a tattoo underneath there but she's always been super careful and cautious of what she's wearing she always wears long sleeves like you never really see her in a t-shirt ever like if you think about it again if you're like a Dolly Parton fan you might be like oh my god yes but yeah I had this article pop up on my Facebook and it said Dolly Parton gives a rare glimpse of gorgeous real hair and hidden tattoos that cover her body and I was like oh my god after all these years of speculation of whether she does have tattoos or not and her not really saying anything about them she's kind of just like admitted that she does have the tattoos and it's just like oh my god you cannot get any cooler my laptop now wants to decide that it wants to sound like it's about to take off 
are you okay? What is going on here? <laughs> So yeah, let's quickly read this article. Uh, it says, with her 14 inch waist and towering hair, Dolly Parton is as gorgeous now as she was at the start of her 60 year career. The icon who turns 75 today is famed for her elaborate hairstyles and gravity defying body, as well as her epic songs. And that's just the way the singer likes it. Raised in poverty in the Smoky Mountains, Dolly spent her younger years yearning for a hairpiece. And when the money started rolling in after she signed her first record deal in Nashville, Dolly could have as many of them as she wanted. Bless. Look at her. I want to look this cool when I'm older. In a recent autobiography, Storyteller, My Life in Lyrics, she wrote, I always wore my hair all teased up. Whenever that style started, I was the first to get my hair all poofy. Then as soon as I could buy those hair pieces and wigs, I wanted them. Explaining her very practical reason for wearing a wig rather than showing off her own hair, she continued, for one thing, they were so handy. Plus my hair would never do exactly what I wanted it to. Oh God, we all have those days. <laughs> And she carries on saying, so the wigs become kind of my trademark. Indeed, Dolly's wigs are much a part of the show as she is. She has dedicated stylist who brushes and maintains the creations. What's more, in the book, Dolly also gave fans a rare look at her natural hair and it's gorgeous. In a black and white picture taken around 1965 after she signed to Monument Records, a young Dolly can be seen Seen singing into the microphone with her blonde mid-length hair swept back and she captioned it in case you're wondering yes that's my real hair oh, gorgeous <laughs> i love it meanwhile one thing that pneumatic you know if you pneumatic dolly isn't associated with tattoos but for years now, rumours have abounded that she's secretly covered in body art and she wears long sleeves to conceal it. And Ab Fab star Jennifer Saunders, I mean, we all know how I feel about Absolutely Fabulous. I have an Absolutely Fabulous tattoo because I just love that show so much. Anyway, she once let slip that she'd seen Dolly's beautiful but mysterious inkings over dinner in Los Angeles. It was 9.30 in the evening, which meant that the restaurant was empty because that's what happens in LA. Everyone goes home, no one stays out to drink late. Jennifer once recalled, ah, see there's that picture again with the, the like, it's like a heart or something. And so the restaurant was empty and she just opened her jacket and showed us all, can I say the most beautiful tattoos? Of course, of course Dolly Parton has amazingly done beautiful tattoos. It's Dolly. Barn. <laughs> and Dolly recently confirmed that she does indeed have a secret collection of pretty pastel coloured tattoos which she uses to hide her scars. Oh my gosh. She told CNN, if I have to get a scar for any reason, I never kind of get rid of that purple look. So I thought, well, I'm going to kind of decorate these with some flowers or little butterflies or whatever. That is so wholesome. And that's the thing, like I've spoke about tattoos and they're not just tattoos you can have them to you know improve or help your mental health um so like dolly if you have scars for whatever reason surgery injury whatever you can put tattoos over them after like six months or so once they the scars have settled down and they're not so raised um and then you can kind of make like a bad situation into a good situation or dolly's word into a pretty situation um so it's really good like tattoos aren't just for artwork or just for the sake of having a tattoo. You know, there's so many different reasons why someone could get a tattoo. I found this article as well where she talks about, um, where she speaks about her tattoos um, a bit more. And it says Dolly Parton has opened up about her secret hidden tattoos and a new interview for podcast Dolly Parton's America, podcast host and Jad um, um, Abumrad, Abumrad? butchering it, prompted by a group of students at the University of Tennessee studying Dolly's work and impact on society. Okay, imagine studying Dolly Parton. How cool is that? Anyway, um, asked the 9 to 5 singer about her tattoos as part of the final episode. Dolly73 explained, I have a few tattoos on my body. They are not meant to be tattoos for the sake of tattoos. I'm very fair skinned and when I have any kind of surgery or any kind of scarring, it discolors. When I first started getting a few little things done, I had a few little tattoos to cover up some scarring, but I'm not tattooed all over like a biker woman or anything, but I do have a few, okay? Because it's Dolly Parton, I'm gonna let her have that comment. But like, and she is, you know, she she looks 30, but she is an elderly woman. So like back in her like generation, like uh, people would only get tattoos if they're like, 
bikers or you know sailors or in the army or whatever like it wasn't a very common thing to get tattooed back in like the 60s or whatever like people had tattoos of course but it's not as popular as it is now like one in three or one in four people have tattoos now it wasn't like that back then. Joy went on to reveal which type of tattoos she has along with the colours she chose. Look at the fashion on her. Like, fashion icon. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly continued with a giggle, but they're very delicate. I don't have the dark ones. They're all pastel colours. I have some butterflies. I have some lace and some little bows, a couple of things like that. Dolly previously revealed she had tattoos to television host Jay Leno during his talk show, revealing an angel and butterfly on her arm. I did put into Google Dolly Parton tattoos. Which show did this? Was it on Jay Leno? Let's see if there's like, there's like no images of her tattoos ever. She keeps them so well hidden. Like, I need tips. Like, how do you manage this? I know a lot of people need to hide tattoos for, like, job interviews or what have you, or to hide them from family members that don't like um, tattoos or whatever. We need to take some style tips from Dolly Parton. Could you imagine if you normally dress like this, like, you know, like a just casual shirt, t-shirt or whatever, but then, like, you have a family member come over that doesn't like tattoos and you just dress to the nines like Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> that I want to see. That would be just iconic. But yeah, I wish there was a way to show you guys, but I guess she kind of keeps them hidden for a reason, which is totally fine. That's like totally her choice or whatever. I just thought it'd be interesting for us to see them, you know, because as tattoo enthusiasts, it's not like we're being like invasive or rude. We're just curious, you know, like, but yeah, I mean, if she wants to keep them hidden, then that's totally her choice. And Bravo, she's the best one at it. She's very good at hiding them. But yeah, I think I will leave it here for this video. I just kind of wanted to discuss this and just deep dive into Tolly Parton's tattoos because it's so rare nowadays that someone would really keep tattoos hidden and private. You know, most people that are famous with tattoos, you know, the tattoos are out everywhere. They don't go out of their way to hide them unless that's for like a film role where they have to put makeup over them or anything. But this is, this is a different case. But yeah, I hope you're all well and until my next video, bye.